fast. But let's let's do some film, Ryan. Let's get some film here. So we're going we're going to talk about Micah Bell. A lot of this is on um, is on offense. I, I, I want to say this before we started. There's actually a couple highlights, like game highlights. I'm still trying to find some game film. There's a couple game highlights of him. There's one game that I've been able to find. But if you look at some game highlights, you'll see more of him playing corner. There's actually more highlights in some of those like TV things where they actually show him where you can see him coming up and tackling. And we'll see some of those type of things. You don't see a ton of that here. But let's dive into the film of Micah Bell. And of course, it's gonna like I said, a lot of this is gonna be on on offense. Nice little spin. Close quarters, nice quickness there. Changes direction, very smooth, and then he's out. And it's easy. This first clip for this is the first clip that we watched, and we kind of talked when when we first watched it. The thing, the reason this play is important because this right here, I don't care about the track speed. This is football stuff right here. Yep. Right. The, the cutting ability, the spin move. Right. Like this is something you don't see from a kid who's just a track guy. The vision to bounce that thing outside. And then instead of this is the part two, Ryan, instead of trying to just outrun them to the sideline, he reads the angle of the blocker. He sees that his blocker is inside of this guy. So what does he do? He gets back to being vertical and then just outruns the defense. There, he has no business not being tackled here by that guy right there. And he yeah. it's just easy speed. He's a punt returner waiting to happen, man. Make one. That's the other part we didn't talk about, Ryan, which we should have. Is this kid brings big time return ability to the team, not just uh, the the uh, defensive aspect of it. This is a kid that can can absolutely bring some return ability to the table. And and these things, the reason these things are important to me, like why are we showing you highlights of him as a running back? Because as a cornerback, that right there, that's footwork, that's agility, that's balance, that's all the things that are so important to being a cornerback. Those things translate. These are the things Lou Holtz and his staff used to look for when they'd sign six running backs in a class and know that some of those guys were going to move to corner. It was because of things like this. You, That's what you look for, Ryan. This kid, and he's got some toughness. He's not a real physical tackler and he's because he's not really that big. He's a tough yeah. kid, though. I, I like on this play too. Number four had a perfect angle on him, and then Micah Bell just eliminated that angle. Mm-hmm. Look at it right now. Four's in a solid spot, and then you're not yep. anymore. Like he couldn't even tackle him from behind when he cut back at that point in time. It's just, yeah, it's silly and just silly speed. Here's a little bit of the corner. I, I do think in the limited cornerback film we saw his technique is is just not it's a mess. But he yep. does show me very good route recognition and ball skills. Like right now, that that his technique gets I mean a better throw here and he's beat. Right? Sure. Like that's just a reality. He's got a little bit of help inside. So he's playing outside, but but he's got a he's got to close on that better. But the speed that just allows him to kind of catch up to that Ryan is really impressive. That's really the is. biggest thing for me. His technique, it needs a lot of work, but that's also the thing I care the least about. I've said this a million times. I do not care about technique. Mm-hmm. Look how he's just like looking for the hole. Like he's jogging, waiting on a hole to open up. This is insane. <laughs> this used to drive me crazy. Yes. I, you know, it's because it's like, buddy, why are we jogging? Why are we? <laughs> oh, that's why we're jogging. Got it. Because you can kick a second gear in a split second. Got it. <laughs> This is one of those edge runs where you're just like, he has no – how does he not get touched here? Right. Th- right. You, like yeah. someone's at least yeah. going to knock him out of bounds inside the five, and they just don't get a hand on him. Yep. Well, screen game. Right. Now, the level of – now, he's playing in Texas, but the level of football he's playing against is not like great, great. It's good. It's not great, great, though. Sure. But you don't need to play great competition for the speed to translate. That's I mean – it's just silly, man. I mean, he just yeah. obliterates angles. Guys beat angles, and he obliterates them. Right. It's a little different. I mean, he just doesn't get touched half the time because, you know, guys are taught one thing, and and you know, then it's just like, well, that didn't work out. Yep. When when you watch game film, though, you see why he's not a running back. Um, I mean, a full time running back because he's a smaller kid, and he's not going to carry the ball twenty times a game. You know what I mean? He's not a guy that's going to be on the field for 60-plus snaps on offense. You will have him on the field for 60-plus snaps on defense. Mm-hmm. This one I'm talking about, like, he's a willing tackler. He just, he's just he got to get stronger. 
right? Sure. Yep. But he's a willing tackler. He 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 knows how to go low. It's good route it's recognition on this fake punt. Yeah, it's a nice play. Kids he's open got good for ball skills. Seconds. Yep. And lower shoulder in there. Course fumble. Mm-hmm. You see the fight again. This isn't great. He he's flat footed, right? Uh -huh. He doesn't use his hands very well here. You don't want a cornerback like immediately right there. Immediately, watch this first step right there. That's wrong. He's flat. He goes to flat feet, right? You you don't you don't want that. He doesn't do a great job sinking his hips there. He doesn't necessarily play this route exceptionally well, but he's so fast it just doesn't matter. Yep. You know what I mean, Ryan? Like, there's nothing about this that I'm putting on teaching tape unless it's a, hey, you know, this isn't that great teaching tape. You know what I mean? Right, right. And that's what happens. I mean, he was more – he's more of a running back by trade at this point in time. He's going to have to learn corner. But, you know, just the the ease of, of his movements. Because at times it'll actually look, Ryan, like he doesn't transition really well mm -hmm. because of his footwork. And then yep. at other times when he's, like, loose on his feet, his transitions are exceptional. So it's 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 a technical problem, not a not an athletic problem. Hundred percent, very well said. This is one of those good route recognition plays that I'm talking about, Ryan. He knows he's got safety help, right? So if you look at where they are on this particular play, if you so you can see there's a safety back here. So mm -hmm. he knows he's got somebody kind of playing that top, and so he's playing kind of he's playing kind of in between. He's playing you know that that middle that. You know, that midpoint area, the guy breaks out and he just reads it perfectly and drives on it. What I do like is we've seen a couple of times, too, of him at the catch point. And I know we talk about the size a little mm -hmm. bit, right? Like he's not the biggest guy in the world, but he does show a lot of a lot of effort to break mm -hmm. up the catch point, which is really nice yeah. to see. And he does a nice job here of not – he arrives before the ball, and a lot of times kids will hit the guy. Yep. He does a nice job of kind of playing that to where even though there's contact, it's not the kind of contact that's going to draw you up. <laughs> look at that speed man that's just he's nuts. barely running like, he's i know just, look at all God. his all his teammates are like chugging away man mm -hmm. trying to get there and he's just like yep yep i only made the tackle inside the mm -hmm. 10 yard line oh my God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that elusiveness like these are the plays where you can see okay does he have the agility to play corner it's plays like this like that initial early run uh that that uh you can kind of see Mm hmm. He really he gets the top speed very quickly as well. That's another impressive thing. Mm -hmm. Again, right there, com ball com com competitive at the catch point. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yep. This is another area where I could see him. He's going to block a kick in his career if he's one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Yeah. Probably early on in his career, too. A really nice angle here, too, Ryan. Really nice angle to the ball. That's the kind of play that Cam Hart made against Wisconsin. Yep. I'm just... That poor kid. I, I, just, I, I know. I just feel bad for some of these kids I'm watching. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, man, that's not... It's not fair. Th these are plays I like too because you you see he's got a nice leg drive. This is a football. This isn't a, that's not a track move right there. That's a football move. The vision, like this kid's a football player. I think he's the, the thing now that hurts him on defense as a high school player is he's more natural on offense at this sure. point. But his game and his body projects better on defense. 100%. And that's part of what you know, that's part of what coaching is. Is like you've got to be able to project those things. Ooh, a little shot at the sideline. Mm -hmm. I dig it. Yeah, there's there's definitely effort in the run game. Like you say, he just needs to get stronger, but the, the effort is there. This is an example. Like, look, his technique gets him a little bit of a problem here. Because what's the one thing a cornerback has to have to truly be elite? Recovery speed. Gets yep. a little grabby here, stops his feet, lunges at the guy, and the guy's got to beat by three steps. And he catches up some, to him so fast that he has to actually start jogging. You see that? Like, he's got two – he's going really fast to catch up and then slows down because he's already mm -hmm. there. And then speeds up again. You know, it just – you have it. Brandon, Brandon Plesner asked if he's got loose hips. That's the thing. We were saying this earlier, Brad. I think you might have just joined us. But one of the things that I said was at times it doesn't – his transitions aren't real smooth at times. And it looks like maybe he is a little tight-hipped, which some yep. track guys can be, Ryan. 
For but sure. then you see other times where it's just super clean, like super smooth, which tells me again, a guy guy doesn't have a tight doesn't have tight hips physically on one play, but then not on the next. You either yeah. have tight hips or you don't. The reason yeah. exactly because you can look like your feet are jacked up or your hips are tight if your feet aren't good. But when you see him do it, you're like, okay, it's there. He just has to improve his technique. And it's hard okay. to be a clean transition guy, Ryan, when you're when you when you flat foot. Yep. And, or your feet get heavy in the ground. Yep. So and that's you see, and, and you can see it on a couple of those runs when he changes direction. Like there's looseness there. If it if the it spin was, move, especially, let's go back right. to that on the very first play. You I don't think you can do this, Ryan, with with uh tight hips. No, I, I I just I really don't think you can that, do this. That I first play is a great illustration too, because not only does he hit the spin, but then he also ex- excel- accelerates to the sideline. Like you right. just see the change in direction. The spin is quick though, right? Like anyone can yeah. spin, but look how quick it is. And then right, boop, see ya. Right, quickly boop. changes direction. Right, yeah. those are things you need when you are a, if you have that kind of, you know that that agility, Brandon. Because I, I think that's a, an important part, to, uh, important question that that Brandon is asking. Because a cornerback with great speed but tight hips is 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 going to get in trouble in some matchups when he's also playing someone with elite speed. Mm-hmm. And and that's the thing you kind of got to be careful of is is if you're playing a guy, you know, like most corners, most receivers won't matter. But if you're being matched up against, you know, another receiver that you know, a Will Fuller, as a Dory Jackson found out. One false step against a Will Fuller, and you're not catching that guy. Sure, you know, and, and that's the important thing for Micah is, you know, he does have that. He does have that ability where, you know, he he do, he won't lose that step because of his athleticism as long as he cleans his technique up. But the one thing that I think you and I are are confident in is, of all the issues that Notre Dame corners have had at times the last couple of years, I've never saw it and thought, man, Mike Mike Mickens doesn't know how to teach these guys how to play. Sure. It's yeah. never been that for me. And I and I think you agree with me on that. I'm not 100% sure yeah. on that. Yeah. So I have no doubt it's just upping the level of player top to bottom that Mike Mickens is working on, is, is, is doing. And 